Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how you can easily edit a photo in Photoshop from the very start to the very end. Simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if at all you're interested in learning more about Photoshop and photography in general. So simply like this video and if at all you want to download the image for, to follow along, simply check the links in the description of this very video. So in order to import the raw image in Photoshop, we are simply going to right click and come to open with and select the Photoshop version that you want to use to edit the image and it's going to open up the camera raw filter and you can see this is a raw image so we want to first of all correct the lighting and contrast issues regarding this photo so you're going to come to the light option and simply take the highlights down of this image and do the same for the whites to have back information because the raw image was initially somehow fell and after doing that, we're just going to come and add or take the blacks down to add contrast. Then we're going to come and add more contrast under the contrast slider. So after doing this, we are simply going to come and open up the shadow slightly. So I feel like the image is somehow a little bit pale. So what I'll do, I'll just slightly take up the temperature slider. Just like that, warm up the image and add that kind of yellow tones in the skin tone. So you can see the before, after, before, after. So what we will do, we will simply come and hit open. In order to open the image in Photoshop, for us to do the next editing process. So in Photoshop, we are just going to be using frequency separation. And remember, frequency separation divides the image into the colors and the textures. So just come to the background layer right here and simply duplicate it by pressing Ctrl J. We can use Command J on the keyboard and simply rename this to low and you're going to name this to high just rename that to high select the low frequency layer and turn off the high frequency layer then simply come to filter come to blur and come to gaussian blur and this is the most important step when it comes to retaining skin details in your images so click on an area that has more skin details or skin textures and left click on the radio slider and drag up and release the left click button and continue dragging up so the trick here is we stop at the point whereby we are just starting to close out on the skin textures in the image so i just take this higher so at about six pixels that is when we're just starting to close out on the details in the skin so i just going to come and click ok and now come the high frequency layer now activate it then you're going to come right here to image come to apply image and simply come the source is the name of the photo that we are editing. Layer, select the low layer. Channel has to be RGB. Blending has to be add because this is a 16 bit image. For past 100 percent, preserve transparency and mask cannot check. The scale is 2 and offset 0 and simply turn on the invert option. And you'll see the textures on this square layer. So if I told you are uh, editing an 8 bit image, so if I told you have 8 right here, this is what you have to do. The source is the name of the image. Layer, low layer, channel, RGB, blending, subtract, the scale is 2, offset 128, opacity 100%, preserve transparency and mask cannot check, and simply don't turn on the invert option, and you'll see the textures on this square layer. So since ours is a 16-bit image, we shall revert the settings to 16-bit, and click OK. Change the blend mode from normal to linear light. And after doing this, select both layers and press Ctrl G to put them in a group. Open up the group by clicking on the drop down arrow. Select the low frequency layer and turn off the high frequency layer. Then you're going to come to the brushes, right click and select the mister brush tool. If at all the mister brush tool is not displaying under the brushes, you can locate the mister brush tool down here. Then after selecting the mister brush tool, make sure the hardness is set to 0%. The mode is set to or clean brush is selected then also make sure clean brush after each stroke is selected with the weight of nine percent load of 75 mix at 90 flow at 100 percent make sure sample areas is not checked and after doing this we are simply going to zoom in slightly the image and start mixing the tones in the skin so we are going to slightly increase on the size of the Mr. Brush tool by using the box bracket keys on the keyboard. And how to mix, we basically mix colors that are looking 
identical in a given area and we blend those colors together. So for this area, left click and hold down and blend those tones in that area. And after blending a given area, you release the left click button and blend once again on a new area. So depending on the colors that are existing in that given area, that is what we're going to be doing onto or over the rest of the areas that have skin and you have to retouch at a distance so i'm just going to be doing this over the rest of the skin and you always have to follow the direction of the skin and keep on playing around with different sizes of the mr brush tool depending on the area that you want to blend so it, to increase or reduce on the size of the mr brush tool you can use the open and close box bracket keys on the keyboard so i'll just paint quickly just like that and i hope you can see the results and you have to follow the shape or the way the skin is flowing or the duration of the skin so i hope you can see this but as we're doing this it kind of makes the image look plastic but we're going to be seeing the results later on as the video goes on so reduce on the size and blend each and every area that has skin in the image so i'll just do this quickly because i don't want this to take forever or i don't want the tutorial to be a long one because the retention of most of you or the attention span is somehow low so i'm just going to do this so you can see we are now blending all the areas that have skin so after blending these particular areas just come and turn on the high frequency layer or turn on the texture layer and you can see the before after before after the skin has been smoothened enough so before after before after so if at all you want to perfect the area that you may have missed out you can as well work with the texture layer turned on but remember when you're doing this make sure sample oils is not turned on so this is for identifying and painting the areas that you may have accidentally left out when you are trying to paint using our mixer brush tool and by just doing this you can see the skin has now been smoothened and you can see before after before after so when you feel like you're not okay or fine with the results from the mixer brush tool you can as well incorporate the lasso tool technique so just come with the low frequency layer turned on and the high frequency layer also activated simply come get the lasso tool make sure new selection mode is activated right here the feathering is 20 pixels so type in 20 and alias is selected just come and select on the skin or select over the skin just like that keep away from the eyebrows or the hair come to filter blur and come to gaussian blur and it's going to bring back the previous Gaussian blur radius that we had used initially before so we are going to multiply this radius by 3 so 6 by 3 is 18 so I'll just delete 6 and type in 18 and click OK so for whichever radius that you use for your frequency separation multiply it by 3 and type in the value when it comes to this step so come back to filter blur Gaussian blur so that is what we're going to be doing over the face so this technique is basically for the face area alone because oftentimes it's only the face that has more skin details or has more skin textures so this is what we have been able to do so far so i'm just going to show you a technique for evening out the skin and we are going to be done with the tutorial so it's a before, after, before, after. So the image looks better. So you're just going to come to the high frequency layer and simply activate it or select it. Come and get the clone stamp tool. Make sure the hardness is set to zero. Mode, the blend mode, right here the mode is set to normal. Opacity at 100%, flat 100%. Align this check and sample is set to current layer because we want to remove the blame shades that are part of the currently selected layer. Zoom in by using Ctrl plus on the keyboard, you can use Command plus on the keyboard. 
So to remove this pimple, for example, we make sure that the size of the constant tool is slightly bigger than the pimple or the blemish that we want to remove. Then hold down the option key on the keyboard, alternate for windows, and left click on a clean area near the pimple or the blemish. And release the option key on the keyboard and simply left click once again over the pimple or over the blemish to replace the blemish with clean skin. So if at all you're confused with that step, you can simply rewind and you can understand how to do it better and efficiently. So I'll just remove all these imperfections of the skin. So I'm sorry if at all we are going really fast. But I just hope you can understand everything. So before, after, before, after. So we're just going to close the frequency separation group. And we're simply going to come and create a stamp visible layer. So press Shift Option, Command E on the keyboard for Mac. For Windows, this Shift Alternate, Control E on the keyboard to create a stamp visible layer. Come and create a new empty layer in this case. And come back to this stamp visible layer. Come to select and simply come to subject and let Photoshop do its magic to select the subject. Alternatively, you can use the quick selection tool to simply select the subject. So I'm just going to get the quick selection tool and simply add or deselect this particular area. So I'm just going to try so don't mind if at all the selection is not active or is not looking better because you can always perfect that. So when the subject is selected, come back to this empty layer and come to the brushes, right click and get the brush tool. Make sure the hardness is set all the way down to 0% and soft round brush is selected. The mode is set to normal, opacity 100%, flat 100%. So with the brush tool selected, zoom in to the area of the skin and simply using the brush tool simply hold down the option key on the keyboard and sample a color on the skin that you want the rest of her skin to look like so for this case i'll just sample this part of the nose area i feel like that color is close to her skin tone and after sampling that color with the empty layer selected you're just going to zoom out and start painting over her skin but don't mind if at all this is looking odd because just come to the mode and change it from normal to color and that is going to blend in better so you're just going to be painting over her skin and it's going to show us that you are painting or creating an even or uniform kind of skin color or skin tone so i'm just going to be painting just like that, reduce on the size and continue just painting. I hope you can see that now the skin looks better and it looks a little bit more on the uniform side. So I'm just going to be painting just like that. Keep away from the eyebrows, the hair and some particular areas that you don't want to paint in the first place so I'm just going to be painting on these areas or so after ensuring that I've painted on majority of the areas I'm going to press ctrl D or you can use command D to deselect active selection and perfect the image even better so for the areas that you may have accidentally painted in you can simply come and get the eraser tool right here and make sure hardness set to 0%. The mode is set to brush or pass at 100%, flat 100%. And with that done, I'm just going to come and erase the extras. This time around, you can zoom all the way in by using Ctrl plus on the keyboard. And I'm just going to erase these areas. And as you can see, some areas were not painted with the color for the skin. So to quickly do that, press B on the keyboard to quickly select the brush tool and you can paint once again and to erase press E on the keyboard for the eraser tool to rub away or erase as the colors so I'm just going to paint just slightly there 
don't mind if at all the, trans the transition is not looking nice Control minus we can use command minus to zoom out and you're going to come to her outfit right here and slightly try to rectify that area command minus to zoom out so you can see this looks okay but it looks overdone so you're just going to come to opacity and reduce on the opacity so that it can look better natural and a kind of realistic kind of skin tone before after so in order to make it magical we are simply going to come right here and create a levels adjustment layer drag in the black slightly to add contrast and drag up the whites then you're going to come and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer change its blend mode rather leave it and come right here to where you see so we have created a hue and saturation adjustment layer and come to master select the reds and simply come to the lightness and take down the lightness and this is going to slightly try to remove the orange tones from her skin tone you can see before and after so right now the image looks better so what we want to do we are simply going to come to the adjustments create a selective color adjustment layer come to blacks and simply come to the signs and slightly take them up slightly just like that and also try to take up the blacks a little bit i think one is okay before after it is just a subtle adjustment but it just gets the job done so let's do a little bit of eye whitening or we can as well add more contrast to a skin tone by simply creating a black and red adjustment layer change the blend mode from normal to multiply and reduce on the opacity to kind of add contrast to the subjective skin then we're going to whiten the eyes by creating a hue and saturation adjustment layer come measure mass is selected take the saturation all the way down until when the image is it is saturated press ctrl i or you can use command i on the keyboard to invert and come and get the brush tool make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches to reset simply left click on these two tiny swatches then reduce on the size of the brush and make sure white is the foreground color or the top color or you can use the arrow key to switch between black and white then simply come with a white foreground color paint in the eyes and you can use the same technique for uh, teeth whitening so to erase the areas that you did not want to affect switch the brush back to black and you can erase so right now we are done editing and color grading this very image in photoshop next we just want to save or export this very image we are simply going to come to file export and come to export as and it's going to open up the export as dialog box right here format make sure you select the format as jpeg quite at hundred percent or to the maximum which is seven the resample is set by cubic sharper and make sure embed color profile and also convert srgb have been checked and simply click on export and save the image wherever you want to save it so this is it for this video and if at all you have loved this simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you have been watching and you're not a subscriber to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and see you need more videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating